Hi guys, uh, Tal here. Um, today I want to talk to you a bit uh, about DeFi. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions um, from the community as to why DeFi exactly is interesting, uh, what we're doing in DeFi, what we're looking at in DeFi, and why do we think DeFi is super relevant uh, for orbs. Uh, so I want to touch, touch upon that and also take you through a, a small journey in DeFi. I don't know how many of you are very familiar with the space, so I'm also going to give a quick overview of what DeFi is and what are their interesting products uh, that are available in DeFi. Uh, but before I dive into DeFi, uh, I want to start really from the beginning. Uh, let's remind ourselves, what are we doing here? What are we doing in this space? Uh, what is blockchain? So the idea of blockchain is to enable the world to write systems that are decentralized. Decentralization is at the core of blockchain technology. It allows us to build a system that all of us are running together, uh, a system that is trustless. This is the base idea, uh, the core value of blockchain, and of course, Orbs deeply believes it. Um, and as you know, we've talked about it many times, there are two types of blockchains. There is the private blockchain and the public blockchain. Private blockchains, we don't really consider them blockchains because private blockchains are not run by the community. Um, Orbs is a public blockchain infrastructure, and we believe that public guardians, public validators are essential into making a decentralized system. Um, and that, that is what we're building, the Orbs public network. And what, we're, what we've been looking at in the last years is what are the market applications uh, for this technology? And, and, we, and we see applications everywhere. Uh, we see applications uh, in finance. Uh, we see applications in uh, voting and elections. We see applications in supply chains and enterprise. So we envision the applications everywhere. We can see that almost any field and any industry can benefit from decentralization. Uh, decentralization can impact the humankind uh, significantly. Um, but the big question is not what, it is when. Um, as you know, disruption is something that takes time. Um, if you're trying to change how things work, if you're trying to change how elections work, if you're trying to change how the financial system works, if you're trying to change how supply chains work, um, it's not a question of whether you have a good idea of how to disrupt these industries, but whether are the industries ready for disruption? Because this disruption can arrive anywhere between a, a year from now to two months from now to five years to 20 years. And if we focus ourselves on areas where the disruption will only arrive in 20 years, then we're not gonna be doing anything interesting for the next 20 years. Um, so most of our work, uh, I would say, our business, business development work in, in, in the recent years was to analyze which fields are ready for disruption. Um, and we're, we've been involved in many fields, uh, many, many, many fields, many, many typecasts of products um, and the thing that I always, I mean, how can you know if a field is not really ready for disruption? Uh, so basically you go around the industry experts, uh, for example, let's say that you want to create a, a supply chain product. Uh, so you go to the industry experts, uh, the, the companies who need supply chain, uh, solutions and you talk to them and you show them blockchain technology and they're all very excited to do pilots and tests and push it in their organizations and so forth. Um, but there is always something very essential to the disruption, and that is the idea of decentralization. And many of the entities that we work with don't really understand that concept very well. They're very excited about blockchain as a term because blockchain is super hyped. Uh, everybody tells them that blockchain is the future, so they're all very interested to test blockchain out and try it out. But what we see very often is that they don't really understand what blockchain is about <laughs> and they don't understand what decentralization is. Uh, basically, many, many people think that blockchain is just a different way to implement our existing systems. Uh, and this is not true, as you know. Blockchain is a fundamental change of how these systems are governed uh, and how they are executed. They are no longer executed by a single private company. They are executed and audited and governed by the community. Uh, so the idea of the disruption of blockchain is basically to let control go. You let control of the system go from yourself and you pass it on to your users. Um, and when many of the industry experts that we talk to and do pilots with and experiment with, when they finally understand 
the core idea of letting go of control, you can see them holding back. This is how you know that an industry is not really mature for decentralization. And I want to give you an example. Uh, now, I can't, many of the uh, uh, industries that we work with and the companies that we work with uh, were under NDAs, so I can't disclose names, but, but I want to show you a, a concept just so you understand uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, and this concept is, 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 a, is a story about a company that we are working with actively and we have uh, an active pilot with, which is very exciting. I won't even say what field it is, uh, just so I won't uh, you know, uh, do anything wrong uh, through the NDA. But, but one of the amusing things that I've seen there is that the pilot is going well and it's actually in, in production already and, and it's running and they're very happy. Uh, but when we did the contracts uh, for this uh, work together, um, their legal department was involved. And the first thing that their legal department of the enterprise asked was, who owns the code? Uh, what, is the co what is the licensing terms of the code? And our answer, as usual, was, it's open source. Why open source? Why? Because everything in Orbs is open source. Everything is open to the community. Everything in blockchain in general, in public blockchain, is open source. Why? Because you can't have an open system if you don't show the world how it works, if you don't allow this, the, the, the public to audit the source code. So for us, the answer, it is open source, is very natural, and it goes without saying. But their legal department could not understand what we want. <laughs> and they said, what do you mean open source? We need to have intellectual property rights over the code. That if we want to make money from this code, we are the only one who can license it and people have to pay us. And then we tried to explain uh, in this enterprise to the legal department that their other division that is actually doing the project is benefiting from the idea that the code is public. And the legal department could not understand that because they have never done any deal in history where they did not have licensing right over the code that they used. Uh, so this shows you the disconnect uh, between the disruption uh, and the industries. Uh, and it's an amusing story And that even though they wanted blockchain and they, and they wanted to, to experiment with blockchain, they did not truly understand the idea of letting go of control. Um, so basically what I personally also have been looking for is industries where I see decentralization successful, where I see people using blockchain, not because of the hype, but they're using blockchain because of the decentralization. And these are the interesting industries to work at. These are the interesting, the interesting projects we need to work at. Uh, so, so I'm going to ask you this question. You know, you're all people in the community and you follow the interesting things. And I want to ask you, what are the popular dis truly decentralized products that you see around you that are actually being used, you actually see engagement with, and so forth? Um, so let's, let's do a little history lesson in the crypto ecosystem and think about what is the first decentralized, truly decentralized product that we've seen. And for a very long time, the only truly decentralized product that was actually being used by the world was cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoins and, var and variants of Bitcoin that are practically just the same, maybe a little bit cheaper, a little bit faster, it doesn't really matter. But from a product perspective, um, uh, a cryptocurrency is just another means of storing value or paying. Um, so this was a very successful product and it was truly decentralized. And, and products like Bitcoin have been successful just because they were decentralized. Why? How can I prove it to you? It's because we do have identical products that are not decentralized that are better in any way. Uh, they're cheaper. You know, if you look at centralized uh, payment systems, they're much faster, they're much cheaper, the fees are much lower. Uh, they're much, uh, I want to say, I don't want to say more secure, but they're just as secure. Uh, but people still prefer, not everybody, but many people still prefer to use Bitcoin because it's decentralized. This is the only benefit it has. And people are using Bitcoin and similar cryptocurrencies. So, so a killer app was cryptocurrencies. And for a very long time, we've been looking at the market to see what is the next killer app uh, of decentralization. Uh, so for some time around 2017, 2018, when Orbs formed, then everybody expected that the next killer app of decentralization would be Web3. Um, why Web3? Web3, the idea was to decentralize Uber, to take internet products uh, like ride sharing, uh, Airbnb, uh, and, and Google, uh, Facebook, social networks, uh, and decentralize the whole thing. Uh, 
so I, we talked about that a lot. I have many talks about this topic, but we did see that the Web3 revolution did not arrive and the engagement was very low. So if you, many systems like this were built, uh, the crypto ecosystem built many, many, many decentralized ride sharing um, systems. But if you actually look at the numbers and you look at how many people actually use these systems, you saw that the answer was pretty much zero. Uh, so there was a lot of hype, but not really actual demand and not actual use. Uh, so I'm canceling all these out. These are not very interesting. Uh, so we spent the next year or two trying to explore and predict which will be the biggest industries to accept decentralization as a product that is actually being used. What the crypto industry has shown us in the last uh, year and a half is that the next killer decentralized app after cryptocurrencies is DeFi. Uh, 